Hey, what's up, and welcome back to Interpreting the Stars, where today we're talking about Phenomenon, which is a 1996 movie starring John Travolta as George Malley. George Malley, of course, is your average, everyday Joe, and he is happy being one. He basically lives in a small town with a small group of friends, and that's all he wants out of life. He doesn't want anything too complicated, he doesn't want too much attention, he's just happy living life as is. Well, that is, until he sees a mysterious group of lights which knocks him on his back. When he wakes up, he suddenly has superpowers. He basically has a super brain and telekinesis. Don't get this confused as another superhero movie because that's not what this movie is. In fact, the first thing that came to my mind was a Norman Rockwell painting. He was very famous for painting scenes that encaptured American lifestyle and the American dream. This movie is soft, it's gentle, it's charming, it's warm. It's a feel-good movie and I think it's that warm atmosphere that makes people want to watch this movie because you're watching it and you're seeing John Travolta and you're just like, ah oh, man, I want to be that guy's best friend. He just seems so nice, so charming. I don't care that he has powers. He's just so nice. And that is the case. It's a very feel-good movie, but it's got some problems when it comes down to the writing and the pacing specifically. This movie kind of bounces all over the place for no real apparent reason. Like I said, it starts off on his birthday, and then it's like nine days later, and then it's like five months later, and it doesn't really seem like time has passed at all. People still wear the same things. They have the same hairstyles. There's no changing leaves outside or anything like that. And as far as editing is concerned, there's nothing in the transitions that feel like time has passed at all. It just feels like the same day. It's only when the characters are like, oh yeah, five months ago when I got these powers for the first time, you're like, you're a little confused because that's how it's edited and it's put together in a way that doesn't really make sense. This isn't as much of a superhero movie as it is a romance drama. Kind of like uh, Seeking a Friend for the End of the World. The end of the world was just an element to that movie. The superhero part is just an element to this movie, and it's all about the romance and the drama and the chemistry, and they focus so much on John Travolta wooing Kira Sedgwick's character, and that's the strongest part of the movie, and it is done very, very well, but the story just isn't there. If the movie didn't jump from point A to point B to point C so quickly for no apparent reason, I think the movie would feel a little bit more concrete and make a lot more sense than it ultimately does. But as it is, like I said, it is very warm, it is very feel-good, it doesn't really matter about the technical aspects of the movie because you do like it, you do find it nostalgic. Like I said, I saw this movie when I was a kid. It came out in 1996, I probably haven't seen it since, but I remembered most of the things that happened in this movie because it does feel like something that you would remember. It's nostalgic. I'm going to give this movie 79%, 79 out of 100 possible stars. Guys, tell me what you thought of Phenomenon in the comments down below. And as for YouTube, you know you can subscribe to me. Hit that like button and hit the bell to be notified when I come out with my next review. And until next time, peace out.